and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fortune Aggro. Miss Fortune, uh, we're going to be playing aggro version of Miss Fortune, pairing her with uh, Noxus and going low to the ground trying to get in a bunch of damage. That's what we're going to be doing here. It's a little bit bigger than... Um, than like a, a PNZ Noxus aggro deck. We're not relying on a lot of one toughness uh, creatures. We have some, like we got the Legion Saboteur, but with, um, and the Gr Legion Grenadiers. We have a couple, but with like Make It Rain and, and uh, cards like that all over the place, you don't really want to play too many one toughness um, things right now. So um, those are our only two one toughness things. And uh, yeah, going Draven plus Misfortune. Um, our top end, we decided to go with Island Navigator over Crowd Favorite. Getting the, the two bodies, getting the scout is really nice with Misfortune. Um, so we're going going that way. And then I got I got two spicy ones at the top end. We got a Citrus Courier that can have us rally. The the whole heal thing's probably not too important, but you know, it, it can come up. But yeah, it's about getting that rally. It's just a one of. And then also one of Siren that uh, draws us the misfortune to help us finish games out and then also has all this other stuff so if our you know if our opponent's stabilizing we got a couple of real uh powerful top end cards to go into i think noxion fervor is awesome in this kind of deck i think this is a huge upgrade for noxious decks for noxious aggro decks big fan of this card um deal three to not like deal three to anything that's really nice for them to have access to and then you know crimson disciple is like the it's like the boom crew rookie 2.0 kind of thing um you know it's a difficult thing to kill like these two threes and two twos and stuff like that are really nice with everybody doing one damage everywhere all right so let's let's uh play some fortune aggro we need to get a better board let's go to the arena that's like our aggro place we go to we go, we go jinx board even though we're not playing jinx we'll go i mean use like these jinx sleeves Get some rage. Um, we gotta be aggro. Get our misfortune one. All right. We'll keep our jinx emote. What do you think of Thresh Sejuani ramp with Tusk Rider? Probably pretty good. All three of those cards you just said are all very good cards. Thresh, Sejuani, and Tusk Raider. Those are all great cards, so yeah, I mean I don't I don't know what else is in that deck, but I like those three quite a bit. So sounds sounds good to me. Kinda wanna just keep this. Uh, the rear guard doesn't block, which is a problem. I like how this thing gets two two bodies for us. Eh, we'll just replace it, and we'll re we'll just replace it. No, yeah, I've, I mean I've played a lot of War Mothers. I play a lot of everything because, <laughs> you know, we we uh, um, you know we play four or five new decks every day, and so I've been doing this for a couple of months now. So yeah, we've we've played everything. But since the new sets come out, I haven't played any War Mothers. That's not because I don't like it. Just just haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, Wolf Rider, an Ember Maiden. Okay, yeah, that, that sounds. Yeah, that does sound pretty cool. But I just, yeah, we haven't gotten there yet. Why, Boom Kuruki? Why? Well, that's definitely a good sign. They're not attacking with the rookie. Because, yeah, I, I was going to block the rookie with the Draven and, and Spinning Axe and discard. Probably the rear guard. So 
Let's take this three, though. So I think I want to go rear guard first, then misfortune, then attack. Sounds like a plan. And attack with everything but misfortune. I guess we'll see what they play. For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. Looking for trouble. It found you. What's up, Yud? It's going great. Yeah, loving the new set. Having a lot of fun with all these decks. Finally started our uh, turn our luck around last video with the Starlit Fate. Deck looked real strong. I'm guessing they have like a get excited and they're trying to decide who to kill. Misfortune or Draven. They killed the correct one. Yeah, 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 you'll love yeah, you'd love that. Twisted Fate and Starlet Seer together. Yeah, that's right up your alley. Yep, there's... Yep, that's the YouTube link right there. YouTube.com slash Hawktai. So I can... I can Spinning Axe and then kill the Boom Crew Rookie, but if I... You know, then I have to discard something. Discard one of these three. I could also just not do that, and I have Make It Rain to kill the Boom Crew Rookie. The problem with the, the Make It Rain line is they could go straight to combat. Time for the money makers. They discard. They discarded a Rummage. That's fine. So I'm going to go to the Make It Rain. They could go straight to combat, and then I take two damage. But I'm not I'm not getting rid of any of my cards. Ooh. Me like. It's Draven time. Well, hey there, good looking. I don't think they're attacking with the rookie because I have the spinning axe, I don't think. I guess they have they have two spinning axes, so they could turn theirs into a 3-4. They could kill my Draven. That would get rid of all of their cards to kill my Draven. Guess we go for it. Hope they don't discard all of their cards. Or if they do, they, you know, then they have nothing. It's possible they have like a mystic shot over there.
get him. This is gonna hurt for you. Oh, that's so good that that damage went through and they didn't miss a shot. You know, like with the citrus curry and everything, that's so good. Looking good. Looking good, Powder Monkey. That's why we just have like the one Citrus Courier in here. You know, sometimes you just want to attack again. Not always, though. We don't really need two because the first Citrus Courier should hopefully kill him. If they don't break, For the glory of Noxus. Watch and learn. So they have one card and four axes. I have two cards, two axes. I like that we gained the three life also. Uh, 11 feels a lot safer than eight. Is that eight? You know, they would just have to like attack with the boom Kuroki to post down to six and then have like a get excited in hand and draw another get excited. Because they had all those spinning axes to discard. Jinx, don't don't betray your fans over here. All right, well, Jinx got to level up, so that's good. Jinx got to level up. Want to know? Lots of aggro today. Lots and lots of aggro. So tomorrow we'll have the anti aggro decks. Get, the, get those one toughness. Come on, one toughness. Ooh, deckhand make it rain. That is a combo. Ready. 
I can't really play... If I play the deck hand, then they... They, uh, vulnerable the powder keg. Kill the powder keg. So we just play that make it rain and trade with the one drop. Why do they always have Boom Crew Rookie on turn two? I always have this card. It's Draven time. Well, hey there, good looking. I'm hoping to whirling death. If two mana, like I don't expect them to have something with two mana that breaks this up. Oh, I should definitely, should definitely spinning axe this Draven to level up Draven. Yeah, I definitely should have spinning axed first. I was just kind of contemplating what they were going to be doing with their two mana. Discarding. We're discarding. Uh... I'm going to keep the make it rain plus duck hand combo. I'm glad I didn't uh, do the Spinning Axe before, because I would have definitely discarded Spinning Axe, and then I wouldn't have had enough damage to kill the Draven. I thought I was already perfect. <laughs> Draven out. I hope this works. Draven out. Look what you and my eye is just... That's weird. Gonna go ahead and let them play some stuff. And we'll make it rain. Um. It's not the best thing to kill. But, you know, I, I want to turn on the plunder for this Jagged Butcher. Pretty good. 
I'm out of cards. We'll see how that goes. We got stuff they don't. Sweet. Stuff is better than, not, than no stuff. Yeah. That spinning X play was all part of the plan. They were going to transfusion. Ooh, epic card. Random epic. Dragon's Rage. All right, let's get that champion capsule. Yeah, we all knew that the, the two mana transfusion. We were all thinking about that. We're facing Skarzig. Skarzig's an, a great streamer. I rate his stream quite a bit after I get done. It looks like he's trying out some deep, some deep stuff. Turn one saboteur, turn two grenadier, turn three butcher plus demolitionist. That looks like our our play. I'm glad we found a one drop with us having the attack token on turn one. Oh yeah, we're a misfortune deck. We haven't seen misfortune in a little bit. I guess we did see misfortune game one. Rear guard. Rear, I feel like rear guard is better to play on turn one because, like, saboteur can still get like a point of damage in later if there's like a bunch of blockers, where the rear guard doesn't. So is it misfortune or is it double spell? Probably misfortune and getting that out right away to try to get this level up going. These thorny toads are pretty good. They're pretty good. Last breath, heal too. Not done yet. Wasn't bad, not not bad. Scar's egg, not bad. So a fifteen. Got a ways to go. See, I'm gonna I'm gonna triple spell with these. I'll do one to the rear guard, deal two to them, so then our butcher is a three three. Yeah, that's true. I that's true. If they play 3-2 lifelink, maybe we need to play the deckhand so that we can make it rain and not let them gain that life. 
Playing this first because if they have uh, Mega Rain themselves, I want to. Yeah, you know, I don't want to like just play my other one toughness thing and make it easy, easier to kill the one toughness things. So great. Didn't know the boss is dead for me. Don't know much, do you? Well, that was pretty great. But we're still still doing okay. Garzik's down to six. I don't really have any re like need to play the Grenadier there. I don't want to like play the Grenadier and then because you know he's still at three mana and then afterwards then they uh, uh, make it rain. And you know, kill the grenadier and kill the misfortune and stuff like, or you know, kill my powder keg. I guess that's that's like the main thing. Because then I would just, because then my make rain wouldn't do two damage. All right, hope, hopefully no more life gain. And these Grenadiers can finish this out. Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm saying. Is the powder keg added one damage? It add it adds one to to what you're doing. So like, powder keg with uh, with a flag should be it does two. Like it doesn't do two to each thing, and then two for for each thing to the opponent. So it doesn't it doesn't double the damage to the opponent. Oh, that's lame. Legion Saboteur for when the opponent stabilizes at one. Get that one damage in. That is an obliterate trigger. I don't like that. So it does two to each ally and just one one extra to the nexus. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Because like how Vladimir reads, you know, it says like it, it deals one damage to each. For for each attacking ally, deal one to it and one to the other, you know, to the to the opponent. So if both of those ones were changed to two, then we read for each attacking ally, deal two to it and two to the opponent's nexus. Kind of 
kind of want to keep these island navigators against the removal deck. We'll keep one. And so, yeah, so... I, I would think if it was worded like that, then for each ally, it'd be like deal two and then two and then and so on. But I guess it's only... It's only the X plus one, not... Okay, so yeah, it's plus, it's a plus one after the calculation. Gotcha. Okay, ready. That's unfortunate. We're talking. You're on YouTube. We're talking about um, Vladimir with a, you know, with a powder keg. I almost had a barrel. So I didn't play the Legion Saboteur so that I have two mana for Transfusion to be able to protect Draven. Far, that is sad. That would have been a cool combo. It should work like that for Vladimir. I mean, come on. If you're putting powder kegs and Vladimir in your deck, you should get a, a good payoff. Good thing we didn't play the Legion Saboteur. If we did, we would have got wrecked by that combo. Draw one fleeting the next round. That's not bad. That's not bad. As far as one drops go. deal three to that thank you i'm just gonna kill this jump lump so they don't have a blocker for these so they, they can do five auction fervor is sweet that card's real good well, i'd just say that was a pretty good turn really 
plunder and courier. You know, like, courier would tap me out, so. Um. What? What are we doing over here? They have another make it rain? They want me to... So I'm gonna have three attacks this turn. Unless they have Yone. Let's go, Citrus Courier. Carry those oranges, baby. Carry those oranges. We are 4-0 and oh with Fortune Aggro. Fortune favors the aggro. Okay, we lost the final boss last time. Final boss. Here we go. On, draw one drop. Darn. I liked the rest of the hand. We just didn't have the one drop to play right away. Can someone check if there's something wrong with my audio from my last YouTube upload of the Starlets here? Somebody in the, the comments. video right now. I can't I can't really cuz I'm streaming. Is there anything wrong with that audio? I mean, I don't know what would be wrong or why. Oh, I can't wait. It's not like I, I did anything, you know, didn't do anything different with that video compared to anything any other one. Right, yeah, right, Powder Monkey. A great pet. Well, two threes are good against two ones. So usually we would want to do the, the one damage to the Crimson Disciple, right? But 
I don't want to turn this thing into it. I don't want to turn the disciple into a two-two and then let them trade. So I'm gonna play like the the rear guard and then do two damage, to the, do one damage to the rear guard because it can be a three-one. A three-one will trade with these either way. And I think that's a stronger line going double spelling than just playing the Draven. We're gonna do that. We're gonna double spell. Obviously, the black power grenade would get get rid of powder. I think I said power. Powder. Uh, I think that would kill the Crimson Disciple, so we don't want to do that. It's a good card. That was a good card. Best case scenario for me is I still get two for ones. They're making the challenger fight? I think. Oh yeah, that's gotta be the challenger fighting, right? Yeah. But we ended up two for wanting them right back. So we, um, you know, made out pretty good. Time for the main event. All right, it's time for the main event. So like Quinn and Misfortune, they don't they don't reset, right? Like so like Misfortune like if they play a new Misfortune, it's one out of like if they play a new Misfortune and then attack, it will be two out of four. Is that correct? Like those don't reset? I guess we'll we'll see. Okay, no, they do reset. Zero out of four. Okay. Just how it how it says one, but this says zero. Okay, so uh, they do reset. That's annoying. annoying.
don't need riches. That was a very well timed bright steel protector, that's for sure. Scout with that, that's very strong. Love ya. Oh, so wait, now it does say. Oh no, that's just that that was just number two, okay. So that's number two for both of them. Okay. I have my orders. Guess we can make a decently large Barring student. They block him with the badger bear. I think this is our first loss. Looks like we're going to be defeated by the final boss again. We top deck make it rain. Really hoping we top deck make it rain. Oh, it's not going to do two, right? Our, my power keg is going to leave now. Make it rain's not going to do two damage. All right, never mind. We need to top deck the. The three mana, deal three to my thing, and then three to anything. That's the card we need to draw. It's not it. Just like hunting pressure east. Best run while you can. So it's not good to play the, um, sorry, it's not good to play the, the deckhand because they would just be able to, you know, pull the powder keg. I guess, yeah, so they would just like kill the powder keg. I get that card. <laughs> oh, right. The four times over them. Well, couldn't do anything. They pulled the powder keg. Alright, we we're still real close to killing them. You know, got him down to two. Even in our loss, that it looked 
You know, that, that was a loss that looked bad for us, you know, for a lot of the game. Uh, and we still got him down to two. Uh, basically, like, we, I guess it didn't look bad for us for a lot of the game. It looked good for a little bit, but late game they had, you know, a second misfortune and the Quinn. And then the turn they played the, the Bright Steel Protector and killed my Draven and killed the other 3-3. Three, three. That was game. Real good bright steel protector. All right, but yeah, this this uh, felt really good. We didn't get to siren, you know, like it's only a one up, so we're not going to siren very often. But we didn't get to, you know, siren get this real big scout creature, and uh, have that that ability whenever you're attacking, all your spells and skills deal that one extra damage. Like that's pretty awesome, and it tutors up the misfortune. So excited to get a siren. We didn't get that. We did get a citrus courier like twice and um, use the Citrus Courier to kill the opponent. So that was sweet. Island Navigator looked good. I think that, I, I do think this card's better than, um, better than Crowd Favorite. I think this, I think it did play better than Crowd Favorite. So I'm excited about, yeah, so happy we played that card. Um, Noxion Fervor is just an all-star. Um, yeah, and everything else was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, every, yeah, everything else looked good. So f another 4-1, another solid deck. Um, but that's it here for Fortune Aggro. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that uh, like button over there. And, uh, you know, feel free to let me know how you're doing. You know, I always like seeing those comments. All right, but that's it here for Fortune Aggro. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.